exclusive live radar and nine day forecast. So you'll know first, this is first alert weather. And hey, Neville, I was going to say, you know all about what runners like <laughs> and for the weather. I say cool weather. I mm -hmm. like it. it. Yeah, it's great if you're running a marathon running, yeah. or running a half. I know they have a 10K too. So that's an early start. If you're going to be out there running the full marathon or the half, those races start at 645. I think that 10K is at 7 a.m. Hey, low 40s, Th that really is great. If you're running a marathon, it's going to be nice and cool. We'll have some extra cloud cover around during the morning. There's a really low chance we could see a brief sprinkle. I think in general, we're going to mainly be dry. We'll have that north breeze hanging out at about 10 miles an hour. So it's going to be a little cool. You might want to run with your gloves, maybe a hat. Again, cool clouds early. Then we'll start to see those clouds breaking up the later in the morning that we go. Right now, as you look towards the west, we do have kind of that mix of clouds and sun. We're currently at 58 degrees, so it's a little cool for this time of year. We should be in the middle 60s. There's that north wind pumping in more of that cool air. Notice the humidity is about 38%, so that's that drier air. We have a little disturbance that's going to move in for tomorrow morning, but our air is pretty dry, so rain, dry air don't really mix very well, and that's why I think most of us are going to stay dry. Temperatures, they're mostly in the upper 50s and low 60s, so I'd say Jacket weather if you're going to head out, especially if you have evening plans. We will be staying dry this evening. Patchy clouds will start cooling down into those lower 50s after sunset. So again, if you're heading out, go ahead and take that light jacket with you because it will be cool, especially once the sun goes down. As far as our lows heading into the morning tomorrow, starting off to the north, we're going to be down near freezing for Tarkio and Maryville and Grant City and Bethany. So if you have those cold sensitive plants, you might want to bring them inside. Really, anywhere 36 highway and northward, you could see some frost tomorrow morning. Closer to the metro, upper 30s, closer to 40 degrees, so not expecting frost in the metro. And then as you go to the south, we'll see those temperatures tomorrow morning, upper 30s to right around 40 degrees. So northern Missouri, northern Kansas, you might have some frost tomorrow morning. The rest of the area, I think we're okay. Some patchy clouds early. Otherwise, we'll call it partly cloudy heading into the afternoon. Only middle 50s, so we get cool weather for your Saturday. The highs will only be again middle 50s. That's about 10 degrees below normal. So one of those days where you might want the jacket all day long. Sunday morning, more of us could see frost. In fact, just about area wide love that possibility of frost. So for some, we don't need to take the plants in tonight or cover them up, but you're going to more likely need to do that tomorrow night into Sunday morning with temperatures getting down into those middle 30s. And then Sunday afternoon, lots of sun. We're back in the low 60s. We're getting a little bit closer to normal. Monday, we're back at 70 degrees. It'll be a windy day on Monday. Tuesday, showers are possible in the morning. Those rain chances have been gradually increasing, so we'll be monitoring that for you. Then more storm chances roll in late next week, Thursday into Saturday, with highs in the middle 70s.